I made a full guide for beginners on how to use Midjourney. I can type in slash imagine, press enter, and now you can type in whatever you want. Portrait of a blonde model, retro AR two by three. I'm gonna talk about this later. And you press enter, and that's how you type in the prompt, and then you wait. And we've got results. It's gonna create four examples with the prompt that I asked. And from here, you can upscale one of these. So I like the second one. I'm gonna upscale the second one and it's gonna show up like this. You also can open up in browser if you wanna see the full picture in full size. And let's say if you didn't like 100% this uh, second version, you also can create like multiple versions from the second one. So you can click on V2. And if you don't like none of the examples, you can also click on this button. So it's gonna generate new examples with the same prompt. And check this out, it created four versions of the original image. So let's see how it's gonna look. We got different characters, different sunglasses, and different bottles, of course. But the hairstyle is really similar, the position is the same, and the colors are the same as well. So this way you got like a couple of more options where you can choose from. Okay, so let's go to the settings. I can type in slash settings, enter, enter again. And here you can see all the versions from Midjourney we got from Midjourney version 1 all the way to Midjourney 5 and Midjourney 5.1 as the current one I'm right now. So if you want to switch up in between, you just can click on them and switch. By the way, I'm going to copy the same prompt to every Midjourney version. So I'm going to press Ctrl C. And I'm on Midjourney 1. I'm going to type in Imagine, Ctrl V, Enter. I'm going to go to Midjourney 2, do the same thing and so on and so forth. So we're gonna see what are the differences real quick. Okay, so let's see the evolution. As you can see, we got here line line V1. This is the version one. And we got some caricatures, really ugly looking portraits in here where basically you cannot understand what is going on. But after you upscale it, you also can remaster them. So I'm gonna show you a real quick example. And we got the upscaled version. It looks really ugly at the moment, but check this out. You can click on the remaster button and basically it's gonna clean up the image and it's gonna make it more realistic looking a bit. And it remastered it, so let's see what happened. As you can see, it cleaned up the image and it starts to look more realistic, but it has some issues going on with the hands and the composition is incorrect, so it has some issues. But you know, this is only Midjourney 1 and it just gets better and better. Midjourney 2 basically goes the same way. You're gonna need to remaster and it's gonna clean up the image. And the same with Midjourney 3. And as you can see, the thumbnail image is already looking better and better, but here it still contained the remaster button. Now in Mid Journey 4, by the way, this is Mid Journey 4, it still has the remaster button, but it's pretty useless because these thumbnail images gonna be the final images which are going to look the best. Now also the composition is really good already and it starts to look flawless rather than Mid Journey 3, 2 or 1. And then we're gonna go to Mid Journey 5. Here you can see with the simple prompts you can achieve pretty good results. Most of the issues had been corrected and the last one is Mid Journey 5.0 one and so far this is the latest one which looks really amazing and of course in mid journey 5 and 5.1 you don't need to do complicated prompt crafting you can type in a simple prompt and it's going to give you like amazing results meanwhile in mid journey 1 2 3 and 4 you're going to need to write complex prompts in order for the ai to understand exactly what it needs to do okay let's go back to the settings and then we got niji version 4 and niji version 5 now this is going to create cartoon manga characters by default. So I'm gonna copy paste the same prompt and let's see what happens. I just copy paste it in like this. All right, let's see what we got. And you can see the first two versions like really painty looking and the second two didn't work out. But if I simplify the prompt even more, it is going to bring me like even more manga results. I think the retro prompt didn't work very well with Niji mode. But anyways, I'm gonna go back to version 5.1 and then we got the styles. We got style low, medium, high and very high. So if you put on the style low, for example, you can see here line line S50, basically when you type in the prompts, Midjourney is going to give you the exact results that you're asking for. So if your prompt is not complete, it's going to give you an incomplete image. And if you go to style very high, you can type in a simple prompt and Midjourney is going to do whatever he wants with it. And mainly it's going to create some amazing images. I'm going to test it out. I'm going to go to style low and I'm going to copy paste the same prompt. 
I also gonna add blue background. I'm gonna copy paste it, enter, and I'm gonna go to style very high now. Control V. And check this out, we got here S50 from style 50. It's really low and here we got S750. It's on style high. I mean style very high, but you also can go to style a thousand. All right, so let's see what happened on style 50. The results are amazing by default because we're in mid journey 5.1, but let's see what happened in style 750. Now this actually is like really, really retro looking. It's also painty like back in the days in the back in the 80s and it also have those retro colors. Meanwhile, this looks more like a stock image, but so far this is the winner then. I'm gonna upscale the second one and it looks amazing. All right, let's go on. I'm gonna type in settings again. Now we also have a raw mode here. If you activate this, Mid Journey enables you to do solid prompt craftings. So Mid Journey won't help you anymore. Uh, it won't be like on style 550 or any kind of style. Basically you're gonna need to do all the prompt crafting and say exactly what you want. So Mid Journey can provide you those results. But this is the hard mode basically. And then we also have public mode. What this does is everybody can see your images in the gallery on midjourney.com. Now, if you want to remove the public mode, so you're gonna be invisible, then you're gonna to need to pay extra. And there is basically a special subscription for this. And after that, you got the fast mode. If you wanna generate images really quick, then you can activate this. But remember that you only have a number of fast hours. If the fast hour is gonna run out, then you're gonna to need to pay extra. So you also can deactivate the fast mode. So this way it's gonna be on relax mode. If you are on relax mode, it's gonna take way more time to generate the images. By the way, quick tip, if you wanna have more fast hours, you always can go to the Mid Journey Gallery and like the images and save the images. And if you like and save images, Mid Journey is going to reward you with one or two hour fast modes. If you wanna see how many fast hours you have, you can type in slash info. Enter, enter. And here you're gonna see all the information that you did so far on mid-journey. Right now the job mode is on relax, it's on public. And here you can see fast time remaining. We got 15 hours, 107%. I don't even know what this means exactly because they seem they changed it. And then here you can see lifetime usage. I generated so far 12K images and I spent 175 hours. So anyways, I'm gonna go back to fast mode real quick. And then we also have the remix mode. This is really interesting and really helpful. So I'm gonna show you what it does. I'm gonna activate it. I'm gonna go to style medium and for the remix mode, I'm gonna type in, for example, a portrait of a skull, enter. And we got some weird examples. I'm gonna go with the first one and I'm gonna create some versions. Click on the V1 and it's gonna pop up this windows where you can see the default prompts that we used. So I'm gonna continue the prompt, a portrait of a skull decorated with flowers. Submit and it should decorate this default skull with flowers. Let's see what we got and voila, there you go. All right, let's go on. And now we're gonna talk about some essential prompts that you wanna use in most of the compositions. So I'm gonna go and type in, for example, slash imagine pog wearing gold sunglasses and a Gucci scarf. So this will do the default and we already talked about the styles. I'm gonna press space and I'm gonna type in line line S. So this is for style. I'm gonna add another space and here we can adjust the style length. I'm gonna put it on 550 and then we also got chaos. And this can go from one to a hundred and basically it's gonna make the image more chaotic or make it more wild or, or less wild. But I'm gonna show you here, I'm gonna type in line line C from chaos and I'm gonna press space and I'm gonna go with chaos 10 for example. And I also gonna set the aspect ratio of the image and I'm gonna type in line line AR for aspect ratio space and I'm gonna do a portrait mode two colon three. And I also gonna type in here portrait of a pug and press enter, let's see what happens. Holy smokes, look at this. So now I'm gonna adjust the settings here. I'm gonna copy paste the same prompt, slash imagine, control V, and I'm gonna readjust the style. I'm gonna go down to 100 and the chaos, I'm gonna go push it to, I don't know, 55. Let's see what happens. 
And as you can see, it started to include the Gucci pattern on the dog. Of course, uh, this Gucci scarf, it's really unclear for the AI. I'm going to need to specify it even better. So the AI knows exactly where to put it. But you can see on style 100, it's going to start doing what I asked for. And because of Chaos 55, it's going to add more crazier and crazier scarves with a lot of decoration versus how it was here. These were a little bit more subtle. You also can create really cool patterns in Mid Journey 5 and 5.1. In Mid Journey 4, you can create patterns only on style medium. But anyways, we're going to go with Mid Journey 501. I'm going to type in Imagine, Enter, Flower Ornaments, and I'm going to press Space, Line, Line, and type in Time and I'm gonna press enter and it's gonna create some really nice patterns for example I'm gonna upscale the second one and there's a really cool site where you can drag and drop the patterns and this is the website you can type in and access it all I gotta do is just drag and drop it here and it's gonna create an amazing pattern you can increase it or decrease save it and recreate it in Photoshop now I'm gonna show you how to upload your reference image by the way mid journey won't recreate the same exact reference image you had uploaded it's gonna distort it all the time into something else all you need to do is just drag and drop the image here press enter it's gonna upload right click on the image copy link type in slash imagine Press Ctrl V to copy paste the link. Here you can complete it with whatever prompt you want. On a fashion show, Octane Render AR3 colon 2. Oh, wow, check this out. It recreated the same image. You can see the same dress. You can see the same glasses, you know, similar models, similar colors, and so on and so forth. Of course, they will never look the same, but mainly it recreated the image that you uploaded. If you want to describe images and create prompts out of those, you also can do here in Midjourney. All you need to do is type in slash describe, enter, and you can drag and drop the image. For example, I'm going to drag and drop this image, press enter, and look what we got here. Midjourney came up with four prompts of this image. All you need to do is read these, select the ones you like, and upscale. For example, I'm going to upscale the first. Click on Submit. And this is what you get. Of course, it's not the same exact example like we uploaded. But this is only the first version and it did some really creative options here. You also can test out the rest of the versions, mix up the prompts, go wild with it. And also, if you want to delete your images forever, you can go here to this uh, emoji, add reaction, and type in here X, and it should show up this X, and click on it, and it's going to delete it from Discord and also from the Midjourney's gallery. And you cannot recover that. Speaking about the Midjourney gallery, I'm going to show you what is there. If you have a paid subscription, you can click on here on the Explore page, and you can get inspired. For example, you can click on an image, and you can see the prompt here. You, you can go here. Here to the three dots copy full command and you can copy and paste the prompt and generate similar images and if you click on home you can see the images that you generated and down here manage sub here you can basically choose a subscription i'm on the standard plan with with 15 hours of fast generations unlimited relax mode and so on and so forth and not but least i want to give you some websites with prompt styles for mid journey for example this is midlibrary.io and you can go here to all styles or you can go to categories but it's like ongoing and you can choose and select whatever you like or click on categories designers you got some really amazing stuff here where you can look up whatever you want or there's like this 32 art styles on mid journey v4 you must try I also gonna leave a link in the description so you can check it and test it we got infographics drawings all sort of stuff and this was mainly it guys thanks so much for watching and hope this beginner's guide will help you with prompt crafting in mid journey thanks for watching <laughs>